Okay, so here's the ASUS M075 Chromebox, the Core i3 model, just came off the UPS truck. Thought I'd do a quick unboxing video for you um, and then go to install it. Already I'm backing up uh, what few files I have on the 16 gig drive that's uh, on my existing Samsung Chromebox. But uh, let's take a quick look at what's in this. So this is what you get as it uh, comes off the truck, so to speak. And I have not opened it yet, except to uh, slit it open to make it easier to get it out of the box. And to take off the product code for the $50 rebate that was available, which is a pretty nice deal. So, first thing you get here on the top is the uh, keyboard pack and mouse pack, I assume that is. And let's take a look at that there. Oh, pardon me, that's what's on the bottom here. Keyboard and mouse peripheral. We'll get to take a look at that in a moment. I'm not actually going to use that since I have a natural keyboard and track trackball. That just happens to be my particular style. Uh, but what you get here is the actual Chrome box. This looks like a special plate if you want to be able to mount it vertically. You get a power drive, a uh, pardon me, power converter. Uh, you get some screws here, which I assume would be to bolt it onto the vertical mount, if that's what you're looking for. Get yourself the usual uh, quick start guide and warranty information, and a general user guide, which for Chromeboxes means you not too much, since you really don't have to do all that much. Uh, the unit itself, as if you've seen it in the photos there, comes with a uh, nice little Core i3 tag on front. Know that uh, you got the spiffier model, if that's what you care about. Uh, you get two USB 3 ports in front, you get two in back, you get an Ethernet internet connector, you get your power jack there, an HDMI uh, output for your video, as well as a display port output, and uh, an audio jack on back there. On the side, you get your Kensington lock and a bay for an SD card there for your media, if that's what you happen to be using for your camera or what have you and a power button there on the corner turns it on and off and it's a very nice compact unit definitely smaller than the uh, Samsung Series 3 Chromebox that it's replacing um, which is a quiet unit but this one I hope to be even quieter now in terms of that uh, keyboard and mouse combination it's wireless so and communicates with the Chromebox, I assume, via Bluetooth. Looks like it's a nice layout, very similar to what you would get on a Chromebook. In the overall layout, you've got the uh, typical Chromebook keys up here. And other than that, it's a relatively compact and nifty keyboard, if that's what you want. Um, I think I would want that, say, if I were in the family room or something like that. I suspect that this uh, ASUS Chromebox might double as a set-top box for some particular purposes, especially since it can support 4K video. And there's your wireless mouse to go along with it with the batteries. So that's what we get out of the box, and it's all pretty much as expected. So I'm going to go um, see how my uploads are going with the, uh, the backup for my old unit. It should plug in pretty quickly. So as expected, the uh, hookup was super easy, and by the time I uh, plugged in the power and looked up, there was the login screen. And configuring any sort of Chrome OS unit is pretty much the same, but um, I'll drive you through a little bit of it just to kind of give you a sense if you're not familiar with it already. Um, just go bang, accept. Okay, and because I have two-factor authentication, I have to get a code from my phone. And you do this with any device uh, when you start it up for the first time. When you have two-factor authentication, you'll be sent a text message um, with a six-digit code. And it's good for only a short time. And then once you've done that, all the... Uh, your device only needs a regular password from that point on out. 
and uh, okay really doesn't matter that you see that code because it's immediately useless and here you are here's your out-of-the-box Chrome OS experience don't really need to take a tour Apparently there's some sort of update that can be applied here, and I'm going to do that right away. Apparently there is a procedure here for encryption and I guess I have to re-enter my password. Okay, so now it seems to be syncing my settings. I see that uh, my browser window is um, getting my wallpaper there. The background has still not been set to uh, my default. I thought that they had updated that to the point where you wouldn't have to choose your own image again, but it looks like we may have to. Uh, but other than that, it looks like things are pretty much where I left off. So, you know, even with a dual factor authentication and re logging in to. Uh, get my encrypted backup information just a few minutes not bad and uh, that's really all there is I think one of the main reasons that I did this was to check out the camera and wow if you saw that pop up in just an instant that's one of the reasons that I got the i3 core Intel processor on this ASUS Chromebox because uh, I needed something that was more capable of handling video and obviously this is going to be a lot more capable of handling video I can see that the uh, that the response is much quicker and the colors are better as well so I'm not quite sure what sort of rendition is going on here but it's a lot better than it was so this is pretty much it for this video uh, thanks very much for checking this out and uh, I will do a little bit of write-up on the i3 Chromebox here from ASUS, but so far it's very, very pleasing. Just a little piece of hardware that does exactly what it should, and that's exactly what I need. Thanks.